I was out on the west coast trying to make a buck. Things didn't work out and I was down on my luck. I got tired of roaming and bumming around so I started thumbing back east towards my hometown. Made a lot of miles the first two days and I figured I'd be home in a week if my luck held out this way. But the third night I got stranded way out of town at a cold, lonely crossroads. The rain was pouring down. I was hungry and freezing, done quarter chill, and the lights of a big semi topped the hill. Lord, I was sure glad to hear them air brakes come on, and I climbed in that cab where I knew it'd be warm. At the wheel sat a big man, he weighed about 210, and he stuck out his hand and he said with a grin, Big Joe's the name, and I told him mine, and he said the name of my rig is the Phantom 309. I asked him why he called his rig such a name, and he said, Son, this old Mac can put them all to shame. Ain't a driver or a rig or running any line that's seen nothing but taillights from the Phantom 309. Well, we rode and talked the better part of the night when the lights of a truck stop came inside, and he said, I'm sorry, son, this is as far as you go, because i got to make a turn just on up the road. Well, he tossed me a dime as he pulled her into low and said, have yourself a hot cup on big old Joe. And then Joe and his rig roared out into the night and nothing flat, he was out of sight. Well, I went inside and ordered me a cup and I told the waiter that big Joe was setting me up. Well, you could have heard a pin drop. Got deathly quiet and the waiter's face turned kind of white. Well, did I say something wrong? I said with a halfway grin. He said, no, this happens every now and then. Every driver in here knows Big Joe. But son, let me tell you what happened about 10 years ago. At the crossroads tonight where you flagged him down, there was a busload of kids coming home from town and they were right in the middle when Big Joe topped the hill. Could have been slaughtered, but he turned his wheels. Well, Joe lost control, went into a skid and he gave his life to save that bunch of kids. And there at the crossroads was the end of the line for Big Joe and the Phantom 309. But every now and then, some hiker will come by and like you, Big Joe, give him a ride. Here, have another cup and forget about that dime. You can keep that as a souvenir from Big Joe and the Phantom 309.